Hello everybody. So today I'm going to show you a washi haul and this is from La Petite Elephant. It's an online shop that's on that specializes in like washi and other designs by um, this creator. Her name is Genevieve Santos. She is a Filipino and she's based out of, I believe it's from San Jose. Uh, yeah, San Jose, California. So she had um, a new release of washi designs. Um, this was earlier in the month. And it's just only now that I'm able to film this. I've been so busy and quite honestly, when I get home from work, I just don't want to do anything. So um, my, only my only chance to really film is during the weekends. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I purchased from her shop when she had this uh, release, okay? So there is a reason, a big reason why I purchased these. For one, it's not that easy to find anything that is Filipino themed in the crafty world, okay? So when I see it, I'll buy it. Um, Mommy Lei is Filipino and years ago, uh, when she was still, I guess you could say, a little bit unknown, she had released a stamp set of Filipino sayings, which I went ahead and immediately put an order in when I found out that she was, um, you know, putting that set out. So I've got it. I, I don't have it near me, so I'm not going to get it. But anyways, yeah, so that was the only Filipino crafty thing that I'd ever seen um, produced here in the U.S. And so I'm really excited about um this washi, all of the washi that I purchased. So let's go ahead and show you what I got here. Okay, so I did buy, did I buy doubles? No, I bought one of each. So there, I think there's probably two or three other um, washi rolls that I didn't purchase. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up on camera. So this first one here, okay, this one, um, is supposed to be the basically like scenes from the islands itself of the Philippines. So you've got this one right here. Let me get up closer and focus. It says Mubuhay um, with pictures of the islands. You have um, the rice fields. Don't ask me how to pronounce it. I'm probably gonna bitter it because I don't sp I don't speak fluent Tagalog or Filipino. I was born and raised here in the US and no, my parents did not teach me. I can understand it. I can sp probably speak some phrases, but I cannot speak it fluently. So this one right here says Mahal Kita. And then, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Now, what I normally do when I do get washi is I like to, um, let's see, what is today? Today is the 27th, so I'll do it here because this is the first time I'm opening it, okay? Yeah, I do have some blank pages I need to fill. Okay, so just trying to straighten it. So what I like to do is I like to save the sticker on the top, or rather the label, and um, kind of make kind of like a sample, you know, sheet, not sheet, but I don't know what you want to call it. So I usually will stick this in and I'll probably have to re-stick it again because I don't have my glue stick, hold on. Stick. Well, it'll have to do for right now. I think all of my other stuff is in another bag. Uh, and took it with me, and I must have taken it out. Hold on. Uh, all right, I'll use this one, although I don't really like it. Uh, this is the glue stick from Dollar Tree. It's the Avery one, and I'm just gonna keep it here because it's pretty wet, and I don't like that. So let's go ahead and take this off so I can make a sample. I need to hurry up and film this because it's supposed to storm today by 5.30 and it's 
4.45 now, so I want to film a series of videos so I can get them done and uploaded. All right. I hope everybody's had a good week so far. Um, today, I was finally able to sign up to go and get my first dose of the COVID vaccine. I chose to do the Pfizer one over the Moderna. I did have the option of doing the Moderna, but I went ahead and got Pfizer instead. So I'm going to be doing that on, of all days, April 1st. Um, it's a drive through one. So I have to get out of my car, just let them stick the needle in my left arm because I don't want it in the right since I am right handed. So here we go. So let me make sure first I'm focused. So it's like a stamp type of washi. Okay. Really beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh no, I'll just use this and cut this off. I love this one. This is of, um, this one's the Nipa Hut. That's like the um, Filipino house, native house. It's what some farmers would live in so that they would um, usually have one near the rice fields. I think it, in fact, my dad grew up in one when he was young. That's what he likes to tell us. He said they're perfect to sleep in at night because, you know, it gets really good air circulation. It's cool. Um, since it's made out of bamboo, and it's very, um, you know, simplistic in design. All right, so I love those colors, all blue and green. All right, so the next one we'll open is this one right here. This one obviously is food related, and that would be Filipino food related. So these would show like a lot of the popular dishes, fruits, food related things. Okay, it's sticky enough to stay. So do that there. So if you're watching this from another country, let me know if you can find your own countries or cultures related crafty stuff where you live. I'm curious. I mean, other than, you know, it's easy to find English and French and Spanish and Chinese, Japanese, Korean. What other countries out there would have their own crafty stuff? Just tore that. Okay, there we go. Well, as you can see right here, this one is banana ketchup. This one says masarap. This one is ube. Ube is a type of sweet potato. No, not sweet potato. What's the other one? Um, I can't think of it, but it's purple and it tastes really good. Yam. I think that's the one. And then this one obviously is probably one of the most famous Philippine exports, mangoes. Especially, everybody knows Philippine dried mangoes um, are the best because they're really, really sweet. I remember one time when I was in the Philippines and this was back in the um, late 80s, early 90s. Um, we were going, actually I had gone to this uh, place in the Philippines called Ilo, Ilo Ilo. And me and my cousins were traveling with um, our uncle and our aunt, who was a nun. I think I've mentioned her before. When we were traveling back to Manila, we were traveling by boat. And um, she had brought this ginormous basket of Cebu mangoes. And in the Philippines, Cebu mangoes are really well known for being Oh my God, so sweet, 
you know, big and just, ugh, they're the perfect mangoes. She was bringing them back because I think she was going to be giving them to the other sisters at the place that she was living. And she told us that none of us could touch them when we kept <laughs> sneaking into her room and, you know, just snatching a couple of at, at a time. By the time that we got to Manila, she probably had like three fourths, you know, left. And she was, uh, she was pissed, but she was not pissed because, you know, she knew we couldn't resist. I mean, those mangoes were so cute. Oh, I just took that off and I didn't even show. Okay, so this one right here is showing one of the famous flowers in the Philippines, which is, I believe this one is Sampaguita. It's kind of like a jasmine, but it's, oh gosh, it's just, it smells so good. Um, Sampaguita always reminds me of mass, church mass, Catholic mass, because they would sell it outside of mass. They would string the flowers, kind of almost like a lay, but smaller, and you would hang them in your house and it would just smell really good. Or you can hang them in your car, anywhere that you wanted, you know, that scent. Because they were very, very strong. Um, I forget how much they were. But I noticed when I went back the last time in 2017, I didn't see as many vendors selling Sampaguita. So this one has more of like the symbols of the Philippines. So this one is the sun. It says Mahal, which is love, Mahal Kita. You know, we've got the um, Sampaguita again. This one right here is the Christmas parole, which you hang during Christmas. Um, my dad knows how to make these. Uh, they're usually just made out of like, like he makes it the old fashioned way with bamboo and the tissue paper, the colored tissue paper. Um, let's see, and he's, we still have it, the one that he made. This is the Philippine Jeepney, which is like, for the longest time, the only mode of transportation in terms of like if you didn't have a car you would use this public transportation so to say so but now they're trying to phase them out because they are gas guzzlers and they do contribute to a lot of pollution because they're not you know they're not exactly the best in terms of like fuel not efficiency um, they're just not good for the environment so they're trying to replace them and put out like electric versions or um, I guess encourage you to ride the bus. I don't know. Getting around the Philippines is hard if you really don't have a car. But then again, if you're in Manila, forget it. I mean, there's so much traffic, it's ridiculous. And if you just heard that, that's the air conditioner that just started up. It's like almost 80 degrees here because of the storms that are coming in. The warm front is colliding with this cool cold front. So it's muggy outside. I went out earlier and we were, um, we went to go and eat ramen and it was just like, ugh, it was so muggy. Okay, so the next one here, let's get you focused. This one is, you know, I can't really see. I think this one is really, something similar to this. I know I should have looked on the website before I made this video, but sorry. I was like, I need to get this done. Okay, so let's carefully peel this off. I should have, you know what? I just realized I should have done this on a different day because I still need to, um, what do you call this? Vlog about, not vlog, <laughs> write or journal about my um, ramen that we ate. So I've got a picture, but that's okay. I'll just do that on the other, uh, on Sundays. I don't think I'm doing anything special tomorrow. So that's okay. All right, so let's take this out. Okay, trash. All right, so this better not be the same. This is, where are you? Where are you? you can feel it. Don't you hate that when you can feel it, but you can't peel it. Okay, here we go. So this says, come on, focus. That means I gotta hold on here. Do it with one hand while I get it in focus. Okay. 
Mahal kita. There's the jeepney. Salama. Thank you. Yeah, so it's just kind of repeating. It's the jeepney and... I'm not sure what those are. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and cut off a sample. Just do it this way then, since I cut off a long piece. Okay. All right. Next one we have here is this dark purple one. And this one is a Christmas one. Filipinos love to celebrate Christmas. It's like a four month long celebration start celebrating it in what they call the Burr months, which is September, October, November, <laughs> December. So, if you go to the Philippines in September, don't be surprised if you see Christmas trees already out. Okay. So this one has got, oh, I think, it just says Malagayan Pasco, which is Merry Christmas. And then it's got the parole, the Christmas parole. And then, up there. what else does it have? Christmas tree. Okay, hold on. Let's focus first. There we go. Okay, here we go. Malagayan Pasco. There you go, see? So it just kind of repeats with different fonts. So it's really cute. I, I'm glad that I have something like this to use during Christmas for my journal layouts. And I have a ton of Christmas washi, but this is special. Okay. All right, and the last one. So let's take this. to be very careful in taking it off. Okay, so we can put this on. Sorry, this video is kind of long and kind of chatty. It's been a while since I've filmed, so, okay. So there we go. All right, so this one is also food related. Um, but it says, let me get this off, here we go, okay, let me focus, okay, here we go, masara, meaning delicious, uh, kain, kain tayo, no, kain tayo, yeah, tayo, mean let's eat, I think, and, um, yeah, then it repeats, so I, what I loved about this was the little rice cooker not very Filipino, it's more Asian, because every Asian household has a rice cooker. All right, so let's see. It's got the banana ketchup, and yes, that is ketchup made with bananas. Very, very sweet. Um, when do I use banana ketchup? Now, I, I haven't actually used it for a while. To be honest, I'm trying to think now, when's the last time that I used it? Um, because we do have some, but we just, yeah, we just don't use it often. I'm more of a Heinz girl. I like my ketchup to be a little bit salty. So, yeah. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, just to the very end. I guess you could use it with, um, I mean, chicken, yeah, but I don't know breakfast, I guess. Like they like to put ketchup on their eggs. Ugh. I don't really like doing that. Okay, so that's it. That is the washi that I got from La Petite Elephant. Okay, check out her site because she's got some really, really cute stuff. These are all of her original designs that she's created. Um, 
she's an illustrator you know and I know that she sells her stuff like at some of the fairs the craft fairs around the Bay Area because my friend Karamia's Corner Clarissa has bought some of her stuff um, at a craft fair so that's how I found out about her so yeah her stuff is just so adorable you know so yeah I'm really happy with all of the washi that I purchased um, I'm gonna add that to my collection and um, I probably will do another washi haul because I do have some more washi that I purchased um, in the Facebook group and I'll film a video for that okay all right then so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you again bye